Hello YouTube, this is a finished Stingray bicycle with a bullet train motor. This is something that hasn't been done before. Um, this is a bike a friend of mine gave me in exchange for an engine on his mountain bike. So I went ahead and motorized it. Again, I've only got the rear brake. That's all I've got there. I've got the electric start. Um, I had to use a different battery. Since what they had was out of stock, I had to buy a separate battery, but it's still 12 volts, 7 amp hour, so it still cranks it. Um, pull start, an electric start. A couple of notes that I got here that are different. I got a special adapter for this bike, for this bracket. Holds it to the hub, keeps it hub centric and flat. There's hardly no wobble. It looks like an actual sprocket on a motorcycle going, not the wobbly Chinese kit that they come with. It's either wobbly or out of true. Um, and then of course I got a single speed here and, uh, and uh, dice valve caps. <clears throat> got the wide cranks. This crank was widened even more. You can see there's kind of a crimp. I had to widen that out to clear that there and it's <laughs> still pretty close but it works just fine. That raspiness you hear, this motor is so wide that, uh, oh, shoot, get over there. That, um, the chain guard is now doubling as a, a chain guide as well. And this was bent around from his, from my friend's motor kit. He didn't use it, so we put it to use on the bike. Um, another thing to note that we had to change was the exhaust, this uh, design of exhaust. Well, I can put it anywhere. Um, I had to change the angle quite severely, so yeah, it loads of back pressure. <laughs> but and a little back pressure doesn't hurt. I'll be getting a different exhaust that curls around sh sharply without a weld job. Um, hopefully the, all those studs and all that measure up like they should. But it is nice, like a little mini drag pipe. Uh, but I'll be getting another exhaust on my muffler. Isn't where my legs are. Not, it's not too bad actually, but it's still close. <laughs> a lot of this was close. So my centrifugal clutch is pretty close to where the chain rides it lightly, ever so slightly, pushes on it like that. And after five cranks, it derails. So we fix that. Uh, the light. If any of you have suggestions on wiring this up, I'm. I was told the green and orange wire are auxiliary power for like a, a light and horn. So I'm not sure what, what's going on with that. I'll try the orange wire next. Um, so for right now I just use a USB charging light uh, there and a USB tail light, which I'm still fidgeting with. There we go. Back there, they kind of twirl around. That's why I don't really like them. And this in here is starting to peel, but other than that, it's, it's a real nice build. You just click it on, and it cranks right up. Or alternatively, you got a pull start right over here. So, one thing I'm going to note is that my gear ratio is meant for speed and not torque. So I've already tested it up to like 32 miles an hour, and that's that's not the full potential. I'm sure it could get 35 or 40 miles an hour. Um, after that, I get a little worried. Even on any bicycle, no matter how old or well built it is, there's a thing called weight and mass that the wind will just push around. Uh, I don't I don't really like that. So we're gonna put stone right up here. We're gonna go for a little ride. Stand on this, it push it forward and it comes off the center kickstand. So there we go.
So this clutch has a wet clutch instead of the dry clutch. This is my other build over here. Uh, it's made out of a Chinese mountain bike. It's required several fixes. Uh, and just like that, the kickstand is set. And reel the front tires off the ground. Anyways, this uses a wet clutch system. You put the motorcycle 10W30 in there. You know that bolt down there. And um, this one here is, is just a drive clutch. And I've tried pull starts and all sorts of things with this one. Uh, they always broke. So far the bullet trains pull start is holding up. I've started it cold with that pull start before. Not ideal, but if your battery's dead, it's great. I haven't had a dead battery yet. So and this is a centrifugal clutch on this one. It is a dry clutch all the way around. Both the manual and the centrifugal add-on. So quite a bit of difference. More professional looking, mostly, compared to this one. And put a good old Schwinn Stingray to good use. These bikes are real nice. The only difference is uh, what I've done to fit this engine in here is, I'll point out a, one of the more important things, the motor mounts that Pedal Choppers makes. They don't quite fit this here because there's four bolts not just two. So I had to make an adapter plate, use the two down there, thread it into the plate, and then the plate threads into the uh, engine crankcase right up there on both sides. And the only thing I had to do that hopefully no one else needs to do, they sent me the wrong adapter, so I needed to machine uh, a correction on that diameter size. They sent me a 1.8 to the one point or something like that and it, it was the wrong size and I needed to fix that so now it's the correct size all glued in with high temp JB weld and um, it's, it's been working good chain hasn't stretched a bit either it's actually it's actually stretched just a slight bit but it's a new chain so we'll see what else it can do thank you for watching